This is a cold day, high altitude, cold fuel, G100 unleaded AV gas, engine stop, engine start test. We've just turned the fuel from the right hand tank to off. You can see the EGT is dropping, the engine is dead. The airplane has been cold soaked at 17,500 feet at minus 11 degrees centigrade for about one hour in flight. It's now descending from 17,500 feet. As you can see, the EGTs have dropped completely off scale, indicating the engine is completely dead, has no power. We're going to allow the aircraft to descend so the, e the cylinder head temperatures can cool off. You can see the boost pump is in the middle or off position. Fuel flow remains off. The right-hand tank has got minimal fuel so that it could properly be fully cold soaked during the uh, one hour flight. We're now descending below 16,800 feet at about 120 knots. The engine remains dead. Shortly we're going to restore the fuel flow from the off position to the right hand tank containing the uh, GAMI STC in progress uh, G100 unleaded fuel. to verify that the engine will restart on cold fuel even at altitude on a very cold day. So at this time the fuel flow is being restored. Shortly the fuel flows come back and in less time than I can describe this you'll see the EGTs coming back indicating that power has been restored to the engine. The engine has a turbo supercharger and the manifold pressure is starting to wind up as the turbocharger accelerates. Again, without any pilot intervention, the mixture control remained in the same place, the throttle in the same place, the boost pump remained off. The engine is operating normally on the cold soak fuel after having uh, suffered a deliberate fuel starvation uh, event. If we wish, we can turn the boost pump on just to show that it does it no harm. The boost pump's now been turned to the low boost position. You can see the engine continues to run normally. And this concludes this demonstration.